A check digit is a form of redundancy check used for error detection on identification numbers, such as bank account numbers, which are used in an application where they will at least sometimes be input manually. It is analogous to a binary parity bit used to check for errors in computer-generated data. It consists of one or more digits computed by an algorithm from the other digits in the sequence input. With a check digit, one can detect simple errors in the input of a series of characters such as a single mistyped digit of some permutations of two successive digits. Design Check digit algorithms are generally designed to capture human transcription errors. In order of complexity, these include the following. Single digit errors, such as 1 2. Transposition errors, such as 12 21. Twin errors, such as 11.22, jump transpositions errors, such as 132.231, jump twin errors, such as 131.232, phonetic errors, such as 60.16. In choosing a system, a high probability of catching errors is traded off against implementation difficulty. Simple check digit systems are easily understood and implemented by humans but do not catch as many errors as complex ones, which requires sophisticated programs to implement. A desirable feature is that left padding with zeros should not change the check digit. This allows variable length digits to be used and the length to be changed. If there is a single check digit added to the original number, the system will not always capture multiple errors, such as two replacement errors though. Typically, double errors will be caught 90% of the time. A very simple check digit method would be to take the sum of all digits Digits modulo 10. This would catch any single digit error, as such an error would always change the sum, but does not catch any transposition errors as reordering does not change the sum. A slightly more complex method is to take the weighted sum of the digits modulo 10 with different weights for each number position. To illustrate this, for example if the weights for a four-digit number were 5, 3, 2, 7 and the number to be coded was 4871. Then one would take 5 times 4 plus 3 times 8 plus 2 times 7 plus 7 times 1 equals 65. I. E. 65 modulo 10, and the check digit would be 5, giving 48,715. Systems with weights of 1, 3, 7, or 9, with the weights on neighboring numbers being different, are widely used. For example, 3131 weights in UPC codes, 1313 weights in EAN numbers, and the 371,371,000 1,371 weights used in United States bank routing transit numbers. This system detects all single-digit errors and around 90% of transposition errors. 1, 3, 7, and 9 are used because they are co-prime to 10. So changing any digit changes the check digit. Using a coefficient that is divisible by 2 or 5 would lose information and thus not catch some single digit errors. Using different weights on neighboring numbers means that most transpositions change the check digit. However, because all weights differ by an even number, this does not catch transpositions of two digits that differ by 5. Since the 2 and 5 multiply to yield 10, the ISBN 10 code instead uses modulo 11, which is prime, and all the number positions have different weights 1, 2, 10. This system thus detects all single-digit substitution and transposition errors, but at the cost of the check digit possibly being 10, represented by X. ISBN 13 instead uses the GS1 algorithm used in EAN numbers.
More complicated algorithms include the Loon algorithm, which captures 98% of single-digit transposition errors, while more sophisticated is the Verhoeff algorithm, which catches all single-digit substitution and transposition errors, and many more complex errors. Similar is another abstract algebra-based method, the DAM algorithm, that too detects all single-digit errors and all adjacent transposition errors. Errors. These three methods use a single check digit and will therefore fail to capture around 10% of more complex errors. To reduce this failure array, it is necessary to use more than one check digit and or to use a wider range of characters in the check digit. For example letters plus numbers. Examples. UPC the final digit of a universal product code is a check digit computed as follows. Add the digits in the odd numbered positions together and multiply by 3. Add the digits in the even numbered positions to the result. Take the remainder of the result divided by 10 and if not 0, subtract this from 10 to derive the check digit. Dot. For instance, the UPCA barcode for a box of tissues is 0360024147. The last digit is the check digit 7, and if the other numbers are correct then the check digit calculation must produce 7. Add the odd number digits, 0 plus 6 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1 plus 5 equals 14. Multiply the result by 3 14 times 3 equals 42. Add the even number digits, 3 plus 0 plus 0 plus 4 plus 4 equals 11. Add the two results together, 42 plus 11 equals 53. To calculate the check digit, take the remainder of, which is also known as, and if not 0, subtract from 10. Therefore, the check digit value is 7. Another example, to calculate the check digit for the following food item, 01010101010x. Add the odd number digits, 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals 0. Multiply the result by 3 to 0 x 3 equals 0. Add the even number digits, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 5. Add the two results together, 0 plus 5 equals 5. To calculate the check digit, take the remainder of, which is also known as, and if not 0, subtract from 10, i, e, equals 5. Therefore, the check digit x value is 5. The final character of a 10-digit international standard book number is a check digit computed so that multiplying each digit by its position in the number and taking the sum of these products modulo 11 as 0. The digit the farthest to the right is the check digit, chosen to make the sum correct. It may need to have the value 10, which is represented as the letter X. For example, take the ISBN 0201530821, the sum of products is 0 times 10 plus 2 times 9 plus 0 times 8 plus 1 times 7 plus 5 times 6 plus 3 times 5 plus 0 times 4 plus 8 times 3 plus 2 times 2 plus 1 times 1 equals 99 0, so the ISBN is valid. Note that positions can also be counted from left, in which case the check digit is multiplied by 10, to check validity. 0 times 1 plus 2 times 2 plus 0 times 3 plus 1 times 4 plus 5 times 5 plus 3 times 6 plus 0 times 7 plus 8 times 8 plus 2 times 9 plus 1 times 10 equals 143 0. While this may seem more complicated than the first scheme, it can be validated simply by adding all the products together then dividing by 11. The sum can be computed without any multiplications by initializing two variables, t and sum, to zero and repeatedly performing t equals t plus digit sum equals sum plus t.
If the final sum is a multiple of 11, the ISBN is valid. ISBN 13 is equal to the EAN 13 code found underneath the book's barcode. Its check digit is generated the same way as the UPC except that the even digits are multiplied by 3 instead of the odd digits. EAN, EAN check digits are calculated by summing each of the odd position numbers multiplied by 3 and then by adding the sum of the even position numbers. Numbers are examined going from right to left, so the first odd position is the last digit in the code. The final digit of the result is subtracted from 10 to calculate the check digit. A GS1 check digit calculate when detailed documentation is online at GS1's website. Another official calculator page shows that the mechanism for GTIN 13 is the same for global location number, GLN. Other examples of check digits, international the international schedule number, the final digit of an ISSN code or IMO number, the international securities identifying number, Bloomberg Global ID's final digit, the international CAS registry number's final digit, modulo 10 check digits in credit card account numbers, calculated by the Loon algorithm, also used in the Norwegian CAD numbers used in bank gyros. Last check digit in EAN, UPC serialization of global trade identification number. It applies to GTIN 8, GTIN 12, GTIN 13 and GTIN 14, the final digit of a DUNS number, the third and fourth digits in an international bank account number. The final digit in an international standard text code. The final character encoded in a magnetic stripe card is a computed longitudinal redundancy check. Dot. In the USA the tenth digit of the national provider identifier for the US healthcare industry. The final digit of a POSDNET code. The North American CUSIP number. The final digit of the routing transit number, a bank code used in the United States. The ninth digit of a vehicle identification number, Mayo Clinic patient identification numbers used in Arizona and Florida include a trailing check digit. The eleventh digit of a customs and AMP border protection entry number. Dot. In Central America the Guatemalan tax number based on Modulo 11, in Eurasia the Spanish fiscal identification number, the ninth digit of an Israeli Tudor's Ihad number, the thirteenth digit of the Serbian and former Yugoslav unique master citizen number. The last two digits of the 11-digit Turkish identification number, the ninth character in the 14-character EU cattle passport number, the ninth digit in an Icelandic Kenitala, modulo 97 check digits in a Belgian and Serbian bank account numbers. The ninth digit in a Hungarian Taj number. For the residents of India, the unique identity number name Dada has a trailing twelfth digit that is calculated with the Verhoeff algorithm. The Intellectual Property Office of Singapore has confirmed a new format for application numbers of registrable intellectual property. It will include a check character calculated with the DAM algorithm. The last digit of Chinese citizen ID. ID number is calculated by modulo 11 to 2 as specified in Chinese Guobao GB11643-1999 which adopts ISO 7064 to 1983. X is used if the calculated checking digit is 10. In Oceania the Australian tax file number the seventh character of a New Zealand NHI number, the last digit in a New Zealand locomotives traffic monitoring system number. Dot. Algorithms. Notable algorithms include Loon algorithm, Verhoeff algorithm, Dam algorithm, 